I'm Ty Quinones and right now on your 13 Action News update, Governor Sisolak has sent a letter to Vice President Mike Pence uh, asking for clarity on COVID-19 guidelines after the president's rallies here in Nevada. Well, in the letter, the governor asked the White House Coronavirus Task Force to explain contradictions between advice from health experts in the COVID-19 task force and what the president did during his visit in Nevada. Now, you can read that letter on our website at KTNV.com. The Silver and Black Faithful are making their way to Allegiant Stadium this morning. The Raider Image Store opened its doors to the public for the first time. This comes just in time, of course, for the Raiders' very first game here in Las Vegas. The Raiders are going to take on the Saints on Monday. And, of course, you'll be able to see that game right here on Channel 13. And good news, more people right now are getting back to work here in Nevada. Dita's Dieter's latest report shows that employment in Nevada increased in August with about 6,500 jobs. However, though, there was a decrease of more than 133,000 jobs when compared to last August. The unemployment rate going from 9.3% to 13.2% in a year's time. The smoky sunshine and heat hold on through the end of the week for tonight. Temperatures dropping back to the upper 90s by dinner time, upper 80s by about 10 p.m. Now the smoke advisory does hold through Thursday, but after that, changes working and approaching the weekend. A gusty wind going to pick up Friday with increasing cloud cover. That helps to knock temperatures back down to the upper 90s this weekend. We'll hold there through at least the middle of next week. So slightly more comfortable conditions coming up. Yeah, I'd say. All right, Danny, thank you for that. That was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.